Hello! In this video, I will be showing you how to directly record your computer's audio using Tape Deck with the help of free software called Soundflower. First, we must download and install the latest version of Soundflower by going to cycling74.com. From there, go to the downloads page and download the latest version of Soundflower. Once downloaded, launch the Soundflower disk image and go through the Soundflower installer. After this, Reboot your computer. Now that we have Soundflower installed, we will open it and change the audio settings. To do this, go to the main menu, click on the Soundflower icon in the top right hand side, and choose Audio Setup. Here, we see that my Mac is configured to record audio using the built in microphone and play audio using the built in speaker. We also see the built-in output is used to play alerts and sound effects. This setting will remain as is. Below the built-in output setting, we see Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 16 channel options. In this case, we will be using the 2 channel device. Right click on it and you will get a list of options. We will select and use the 2 channel device as the sound input and output. You can see the two icons, the volume and microphone on the Soundflower 2 channel option. This confirms that we have selected Soundflower as the sound input and output. Next, in the Soundflower menu, we see this area, which lists each device available on your system. In this case, we see none, which allows no sound from what is playing to be heard, and built-in output. Selecting the built-in output tells Soundflower that you want what it's capturing to be heard out of the device specified. I'm going to use my Mac's built-in speaker, however you can select any device that you have or prefer to use. I will now demonstrate how Soundflower is connected by playing some audio. As you can hear, the audio is playing with Soundflower. Now go back to the Soundflower icon and choose the None or Off option and play the audio again. You should not be able to hear the audio. This proves that Soundflower is connected to play your audio rather than the built-in speaker. To continue, we will keep the Soundflower settings off. This will allow us to record the audio from our computer without us having to hear it. Next, we will change the settings on Tape Deck from its current default settings. After opening Tape Deck, go to the main menu and select Preferences, then go to the Sound tab. For the record and play using options, we will change the setting to the Soundflower 2 channel device using the drop down menu in each section. We may now close the preferences screen for Tape Deck. We are all set to record our computer's audio. Press record on Tape Deck, then play your selected audio. Once you have recorded the audio you want, turn the Soundflower setting back to built in output and click play on Tape Deck to confirm your audio has recorded. There you have it. I have demonstrated how to record your computer's audio by using Tape Deck with the help of Soundflower. This has been Nathan for Super Mega Ultra Groovy. Thanks for watching and happy recording.